the apocalypse is never fun uh but we are going to try play a game that is at least uh, an engaging apocalypse partly because it features absolutely no people this is primordia a game developed by wormwood studios and released by our uh old uh favorites uh what jedi um and hello to shaggy uh this is a great little point and click adventure game from 2013 uh, that I've wanted to play for a little while, and I decided that now was a good time to do it because the developer Wormwood uh, are gearing up to release uh, their new game, which is called Strangeland, and I believe that is released a month, no, sorry, a week from when I'm playing this. I believe it's on the 25th, uh, which is a, uh, a horror-themed kind of amusement park mystery uh, and it looks really out there and looks really cool and uh, I'm really looking forward to it and I kind of thought what better time to go back and play their previous game um, and we've played Unavowed before which was another War Jedi game this this game follows uh, or not doesn't follow it preceded it but this game is very much in the same mold of point and click adventure game uh, in that it has a very uh, engaging story it's got great writing uh, good voice acting and some really nice chunky pixely graphics uh, so i'm not gonna dilly dally any longer we're gonna get right into the playing of the thing <clears throat> not a lot of options here but we are so we're just gonna start the game we should get a nice little intro sequence how is everyone doing is everyone doing okay this fine monday evening And also, is the sound okay? Do you want me to boost it? exactly none of the parts he wanted. A whole day at the junk pile and all I turn up are a locker and some stupid conduits. Maybe next time. Uh, boss? Are you sure you got those settings right? That came from down in engineering. Let's go. Right, the game starts very much in media's res. Uh, <clears throat> and, uh, Hang on, I'm just, what am, what am I even looking at? Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to get the chat up on my phone, I apologize. Yeah, it's a robot game. This is all, whoops, all robots uh, in this game. Uh, you'll recognize uh, these voice actors, probably, uh, primarily. They, they were both in Unavowed. Uh, we have Logan Cunningham in the main role. And our flying little buddy Crispin is uh, Abe Goldfarb. Who is, uh, I believe, has been in every single Watch It I game, uh, in smaller or larger parts, but here he's playing a, a main supporting role. Uh, so, as always, great voice acting in this game. I love these big old chunky, uh, very rust flavoredy pixely graphics. It's great, and I love the smooth animations. Gorgeous. Uh, uh, boss, maybe we should see what's happening in engineering. Maybe we should. Well, actually, we can't look, so let's go down the hatch. I'm okay, been a lot of work. Sound seems good, that's good. And Fancy Cat, hello. Having a food coma, that's nice. We need to get to engineering. He's like Sid and Final Fantasy. That's that's a pretty good point, actually. <laughs> uh, boss? Oh, that doesn't look real good. That doesn't look good at all. Crispin, get behind me. Who are you, and what do you want? Power. Power. I think he wants the power core, boss. Stop right there. This ship belongs to me. Forfeit. Enemy wonder. I don't think he's too keen on private property. Get <laughs> away from the power core. Forfeit. Oh, that's not nice. That 
That is a scary looking robot. I don't like. There goes our power, insult to injury. threw you out of the ship and then he said plunder uh, again <laughs> and then he left with our power core facade yep how much charge have you got 10 percent. you i'll be fine we just need to get the emergency generator up and running or we could just go to metropole city of glass and light free energy for one and all don't believe everything you hear metropole is trouble but if you want to go You've got free will in a maglev unit. With that guilt subroutine you put in me, I wouldn't even make it halfway. Actually, <laughs> with a 10% charge, you wouldn't even get that far. So I suggest we get the generator working. <sighs> you and your projects. Man built us to build, Crispin. Now, come on. Right. That is the game introducing itself to our menu, which is looking pretty typical for a point-and-click game. Uh, so yeah, this is Horatio and Crispin. Robot buddies in the uh, apocalypse. You know, boss, if you're ever wondering what I would do, feel free to just ask. I'll keep that in mind. Crispin I Horatio love them. Version 1. He'll be version 2 once I put some arms on him. He is my best and only friend. Uh, yeah, so... A couple of cool little things in this game, little details. The first one is that Basad is a swear word, which is uh, a nice little play on BSOD, which is the blue screen of death. Um, and also the fact that their last names is whoever built them. So it's kind of like you would have today with John's son as Johnson. Does it bother you that the only thing attaching the unique to its tail is a cable? No. I think I'm starting to figure out how this ship must have crashed. Uh, so he is Crispin Horatio built because he's Horatio. It's a nice little touch. I like it. It's one of the unique turbines. The big engine that couldn't. I can't move this without some kind of crane, which I certainly don't have time to build now. Nothing worth salvaging. Uh, right. Now, Got telling. I'm not a fancy engineer like you, boss, but it seems like the unique isn't gonna fly without its tail on. Uh, that is fair. We got a robot is that head. A gumball machine? No, it's a robot's head. Ah, uh, I wanted a gumball. How do you know what a gumball is? <laughs> I must have dropped the data pouch when I was thrown out of the unique. Facade. Its memory got wiped. Easy enough to add the good old junk pile's coordinates back in, though. There we go. We got a map. That means that we can use the, those parts of the inventory. Uh, what else have we got here? I can't pick that up. Can we go anywhere here? Or I think or do we just need to go to the exit? Is everything running smoothly for uh, everyone as well? Want we'll to make sure? It's a segment of Gordium Electrical Conduit. And we picking it up. Some very sticky grease. I can't just scoop it up. Oh, come on. Ooh, we've got a thingy. We can put something a socket in and pull a switch and got a spark plug. Crispin, when I told you to find a new spark plug, did you just shove my conductive putty into the old one? Uh, maybe. No wonder the generator isn't working. At least the putty is still good. Alright, so we can get the putty, it's not but. not going to do anything until the generator's fixed. We can't do much about this. We're gonna need a spark plug and to plug it into something. I've tried patching this a dozen different ways without success. Blasted leaking gasket. Is it blasted or leaking? Let's explore our home. What was I thinking, leaving all my lanterns up there? There's no way I can reach that. Could you grab that lantern? Sure thing, boss. Uh, 
But we can use Crispin. No, I always wanted to be able to fly. That's why I built you with a maglev unit. Not so that you could store tools on hard to reach ledges. Well, that too. They've got a really nice little, little uh, duo uh, thing going on. I really like it. I think it's. Uh, I love Crispin. He's so cute. Look at him go. I uh, can go this way too. This is where we started. This is no time for sitting around. An old captain's chair. I moved it here from navigation. Now that doesn't look like a captain's a chair. Without power from the ship, the telescope won't work. Bad timing with those repairs, huh, boss? To be how? Look Strange at the clouds. Clouds, huh, boss? Only a little sliver left before the moon wanes entirely. Well, I'm glad we're not the only ones running out of power. Floaty boy. White so. Go in the hatch. It's too dark to see the ladder runs. Oh, okay, we can't go down the hatch. The hatch is unresponsive. More uh -uh. Than conduit. Maybe does that mean that we need to... Uh, I'm guessing that means we need to do the generator before we go anywhere else. A sturdy cable. Well, let's get the cable then. This is our little inventory. The unique... It's the unique's tag. Without it, I'd have never known the ship's name. Apparently, building a giant airship doesn't require proper spelling. Apparently yeah. not. Doesn't seem like it. Seems to try to balance depressing and cat uh, catastrophe feeling with uh, humor tricky business. Yeah, kind of. But I like the way that this game goes about it, for the most part. I think the writing's pretty solid. Um, Boss, and I think the... Oh. Anything about that oil leak? Yes. All right, for interrupting. Now he's making excuses. Do we have anything we can do here? I doubt that will happen. How would that even... Futile. If we look at the thing again. We put the cable in? It's a data cable, not a power cable. Oh, it's a data cable. I doubt that will have... Data pouch? I doubt that will have it. Nope. <laughs> Feudal. Oh, maybe we have to use the lantern to go inside. Climb in with the lantern and we can pick something up in there. There we go. That's what we need to do. I don't need to bring these with me. After all, boss, life is stranger than fiction. Bedtime reading. It's the gospel of man. Ooh. Going to pray for a miracle, boss? We are man's miracle, Crispin. Let's hope that's enough. <clears throat> we get the gospel of man. We can actually read it. In the beginning, all was still and silent. Then man, the old builder, spoke the word, and the word begat the code, and so the world began to spin. Thus dawned the primordium, the first age, the age of building. Man moved across the world and built many wonders. In the heavens he paved the sky roads, on the land he raised mystic towers, and in the dark depths he dug colossal caves. Most incredible of all were the many machines designed by man, but still the old builder was not satisfied. So with both his hands, man built a body of steel in his own image, and with his right hand he gave logic, and memory he gave with his left. Then man said, Now I will quicken this machine with the spark of power, and together we shall walk upon the earth. And it was done. Thus spun the world, and grew the code, and multiplied the living machines, and slowly passed the primordium. 
who can count the versions and generations that marked that age. In time, the old builder looked upon the many things he had built, the sky roads, the mighty towers, and above all upon the living machines. Weary with his labor, man sat himself beside the robots and said unto them, For you, my children, I spoke the word and fired the engine of the world. For you, I wrote the code, and to you I gave logic and memory. Then man the old builder stood and took his machine in his hands and guided them to a great mountain top. Together they looked upon the world and its beauty. All this was made for you, and now unto you all this is given. Keep it, tend it, and make it flourish. And the old builder fell silent and passed from the world, and so ended the primordium. We are lesser machines, built by those built by man, as we are but humble images of the old builder, and he is the perfection of our forms a machine of unbreakable form, endless memory, and absolute logic. For this we revere him, and speak the word, and keep the code, and tend to the world he gave to us. Yeah, that's the, what happened. Uh, I think a recurring theme in this game is uh, religion. <laughs> Why were you looking for my plasma torch? No reason. Uh, okay, sure. This is no time for a nap. I still don't see why I don't get a bed. Because you have a flat bottom to rest on. Uh, boss, were you checking out my bottom? <sighs> oh, ho, no yay. <laughs> that piece of sheet metal really ties the room together, boss. I can't pick that. Okay, let me have a quick look at the console. Ah. There's still some power in the circuit. Boss, shouldn't you have thought of that before coming down here? We could have been stuck. I could have just ridden you back to the deck. Really? No. Routing that <laughs> much power to your maglev unit would cause it to explode. Yeah, right. Sorry. I couldn't find a working fuse to solve the problem. I'm a floating bomb. I'm a floating bomb. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, but we're actually going to go down again. Uh, can we open this hatch? Controls for this hatch are unresponsive. We can't. Can we look at anything else? Now, this is where I admit that I have... I haven't played this game since it came out, and that's been uh, eight years now. Just about. Great chemistry here. Yeah, we've got, we're get, we're got a lot of good banter to look forward to, uh, which is part of why I really like this game. Okay, I don't think we can do much else. Let's go down. Uh, do we? I'm gonna just make sure. There's no way I can reach that. Can Crispin do That's anything? Way too big for me to... Hmm. Was there anything? I don't think there was. Was there? But I'm just gonna check if there's anything that Crispin could reach. Here. I don't. No, there's nothing on top of here. So we'll just do this. Uh. <clears throat> game is a little bit pixel hunty, which is why I need to sweep a lot of time, because it isn't too easy to figure out what you're meant to be focusing on or not. Uh, Let's cut a little. Ah, see, now this is something that isn't immediately obvious. Feudal. A lot of time you have to do stuff like this. There you go, you got a little cable. Feudal. I can use that. How would that even work? How would that even oh, I thought that was gonna be it, because that was the putty, wasn't it? Yeah. What can we do here? Can we do anything in this bit? That's never I wanted a nothing worth selling. No, it's just a tail wing and a turbine and then the head, <laughs> which we can't do anything with. Can we? Uh, let's see if we can use the map. 
Yeah, we can. Boss, just think of all the brothers and sisters you could make for me from all that junk. One of you is more than enough. It's just scrap. Right. If that red light went off, I bet the train would start going. Crispin, sometimes I think you're trying to get me to waste time. Who, me? Better just to leave the endless. Uh, we can look How at the train. The train wound up out here, boss. Maybe they brought it here by boat. Very funny. Better just to leave it alone. A lockbox is interesting. Type. Looks like some kind of lockbox. Uh, is there anything we can use on that? Plasma torch, maybe? Let's see if this works. Maybe we can, uh, yeah, looks like it. Hey! Is that a spark plug, boss? No, he wants siblings. A spark plug. Er, actually, I think that box was some kind of machine. You killed it! Recycled it. I guess it was actually some kind of machine. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was already dead, though. You're pretty sure? <laughs> How <Still> sure? <laughs> There's a piece of Gordium conduit way back there. I can't reach the conduit. We're not, can you reach the conduit? Crispin, can you go in there and get that piece of conduit? I suppose. Go on, push it out. That would have been a lot easier with hands, boss. Right, jump. some junk. Ooh, we can go inside. It's locked tight. Ah, uh, but we've got... It's not going to work with the plasma torch. It's a reinforced steel. Oh, okay. Well, that's no fun. Who doesn't want siblings? Siblings are great. I picked it clean years ago. Oh, okay. Um, hmm. Well, we've got three conduits. How many do we need? How would that even... Just to run. Well, we've got a spark plug. Let's uh, see if we can use that back to unique. Unique, sorry. I thought that was going to be unique. There we go. Okay. I won't leave it running until I can connect it to the unique. Uh, we had the... Feudal. There's supposed to be a power-bearing conduit between this socket and the ship. But I never got around to putting one together. Now who's the procrastinator? I'll need at least five pieces to be able to build uh, a conduit. Okay, we need a couple more pieces. Uh, the data pouch is registered to me. Ray, and this is interesting because we, we noticed that Christmas is called Horatio built. But Horatio is Nola built. Interesting little, uh, little mystery. There's gotta be a way. No, I don't want to leave the little. Oh, we have conduits here. I see. There's a little bit. There's the pixel. Unfortunately, one of them is completely corroded and worthless. Uh, we already had them, so we can go back. We just missed that bit. Right, let's put these conduits together. It won't work until they're locked. Okay, well, you know. Feudal. Forgive me for trying. I doubt that will have any effect. Uh, okay. Time for. There we go. Weld it together. Wow, that was easier than I thought it would be. Big for yourself. Uh, and then we have, there we go, fuse conduit. Plug that sucker in. Hello, Ralph. Just outside of screen. Whew, I thought we were in trouble when Big Ugly stole our core. But just like that, problem solved. The problem Hello, you. Well, I agree. The noise leaves something to be desired. 
This is an emergency generator, Crispin. Well, it was an emergency, boss. It only runs for a few days, if that. Oh. Well, do we have another one? No. Which means it still is an emergency. Well, in that case... First Hello, Dormouse. Playing Primordia. We were just getting started. You haven't missed much. So, what's the plan, boss? Just a bit. We need to recover our power core. Or we could just take the train to Metropole and live in luxury. First of all, there is no train to Metropole. And second, even with full charges, we can't just walk there. But more importantly, I hate that city. It's in my core logic. I don't know why, but I can't change it. Okay, okay. In that case, can you just make us a new power core? Yes, but I need some kind of strong energy source for that. Can you just make one of those too? I'm just asking. No, but somewhere around here are the plans for an energy sensor. That's awfully convenient. I designed it a long time ago, before I made you. I even found a sodium iodide crystal to use in the sensor, though man alone knows where it's buried now. Ooh, getting some adverts there for the uh, for Metropole. It's the unique recharging station. We're fine on energy, for now. I've never been able to figure it out. Hey boss, what do all these buttons and switches do? I think they're some sort of defense mechanisms, but I can't figure them out. we got a big machine here. I, uh, this is a, a thing that I also love here, is the... It's got kind of like a kind of a Geiger inspiger, inspired look to all this machinery. Like, it looks vaguely organic. Boss, don't you think it's a fire hazard to have all those books piled up like that? How would they catch fire? <laughs> it's it's just like, um... Are you going to keep nagging me until we run out of power, boss? Yes. It's Crispin's log. In order to preserve his privacy and my sanity, I've avoided reading it. A collection of product manuals, how-to guides, and technical treatises. Do you think the sensor design might be in here? No, these are all books I scavenged. I don't need any of Yeah, them Geiger and a Nautilus. Or Giger, I should say. Uh, it's one of those things with names where you pronounce them wrong for so long that they just like the the incorrect pronunciation just becomes part of um it's becomes part of you. No. Uh, let's go to the hatch. So I, I keep saying Geiger even though I know it's Giger. Uh what else have we got? We can go, uh, we got the power now. We can check the telescope. Ah. Uh. This isn't the time to test out the telescope. This isn't the time. This isn't the. Yes, great music in this game. But I believe, might get the name wrong here, but I believe it's uh, composed by Nathaniel Chambers. Uh, it's got very good moody music. That also is, it, it doesn't feel very, um, it obviously has a very bleak, kind of desolate uh, feel to it, but it also, it doesn't, um, it doesn't feel hackneyed, like a lot of post-apocalypse music feels kind of samey. And I feel this has its own unique little tone. Can what else are we doing here? There's a fight between the the cats. <laughs> Ralph is a Yuki's cat. Ralph would not win that fight. <laughs> I can tell you right now. He is not a fighter. Not even slightly. Can't really do anything else here. Also, hello for joining. Thank you for joining. How are you? Alright, ooh, we've got radio here. I bet I can find a better use for this plug. But now we can't listen to the sweet voice of Metropole. I guess that makes two birds. Nothing more to do with it. 
All right, guess that's it. Uh, so we got to radio. Got a vinyl player. A computer terminal. That record player was a good find, Crispin. I still think you should have let me have its arm. I'm pretty sure that arm came from a sewing machine. On second thought, maybe I should have let you have it. The only way I can use this is by plugging something in. What can we plug in? Will the data pouch go? That will have any of nope. No cable. I can't plug this in here. Okay. Another cable. It's a plug. Well, we got a plug. It needs a sodium iodide crystal to be useful. Was well, nice to enjoy the stream for going to sleep. Oh, well, that's nice. Thank you so much. A I do like to. Interface with a socket for connecting external hardware. That's why I wanna I do wanna have that kind of chill atmosphere. These streams. Uh, except when I get frustrated because I don't know what the heck I'm doing. But we were looking for a blueprint, weren't we? Designs for Crispin. Hey, there are arms here. An awesome set of tractor treads. I went with a maglev unit instead, and I never could find good arms. The original design. There's the design. I'll there put the keynotes into my data pouch. How does it even work? The crystal pulses when it absorbs energy. The cable carries the pulse to the computer. The computer decodes the information and displays it on the monitor. Uh, boss, where are we going to find a working computer? The unique is full of them. Oh, right. <laughs> All right. The energy sensor requires a sodium iodide crystal connected to a uh, we were the energy. So we need a crystal, basically. Crispin's to do list. Funny how it never gets any shorter. That's your fault, boss. Not mine. I found this in the dunes. It reads: Pound pastrami, can kraut, six bagels. <laughs> bring home for Emma. I found this. An ancient liquid crystal display. Ah, I heard a crystal. How would that even? We open no that up a bit. Cut that. Or... Okay, can we just? How would that even? Well, I want to get it open. I want the crystal, as I'm sure that this is how those work. How would that? That's never. Okay. What have we got? Ooh, got some papers. Just some reminders I left to myself. Just some reminders that. How do you lose a crystal, boss? If I had one, I'd attach it to my head. That's why I put it somewhere you wouldn't find it. You can't hide something shiny forever. Ah, uh, this is how we get back. But then we can go into the other. Is that oh that oh, that's, it opens it doesn't it? Yeah, that's outside. Okay. Cool. But we can check the whole breach. I don't think that would be wise. Oh, it wouldn't be. No. Yet another reason that besotting robots should be reduced to scrap. Yeah, it's not like it's gonna be cold's gonna be an issue, but still, not very nice. That is where our power core should be shedding its light silently. There's nothing I can do with it until I have some kind of power source. Less problem, isn't there? Right, so we need to find a crystal. Um, a mysterious list I found in the dunes. There needs to be some kind of connector between the crystal and the cable. Well, we got the connector, we just need the actual crystal. But where could that possibly be? Nothing. Uh, We're fine on. No, it's not gonna be here, is it? I 
Kinda wanna play Secret of Monkey Island. I enjoy the humor, but the puzzles seem like real bullshit sometimes. Uh, yeah, my, um, ooh, we got something shiny. There it is. Ah, here's the crystal. Right under our noses. That is, if we had noses. A bit of lampshade hanging there. Nice work. Are you really trying to build us an energy sensor from a bunch of garbage? Crispin, I built you from a bunch of garbage. From spare parts, boss. <laughs> spare parts. Uh, yeah, the uh, my sort of philosophy on point-and-click adventure games, and especially old point-and-click adventure games, is never fear war crows. Use them aplenty, because so often the writing is better than the puzzle design. If you get stuck, check a walkthrough. Because those games are more about... Honestly, they're more about the adventure and the writing most of the time, rather than the the skill of the puzzle solving, because they're often bullshit. Um, more recent games tend to be a little bit fairer, but I still, if I get stuck, I just check walkthroughs. Is it okay if I sleep in the cradle until we have a new power core? No. Oh, honestly, there's, you just, otherwise you get annoyed with them and then you don't finish them and then you just lose out, which is a shame. Uh, right, so we can now connect the cable. Well, there we go. Garbage connect it to the cable. Okay, so we're getting some, uh, what looks like coordinates here, I'm gonna actually write these down, uh, so we can, that's the best, that's, that's gonna be the best one I've got, isn't it? Six, five, two, eight, one, seven, six, zero, eight. Six, seven, one, two, one, two. One, five, and nine. Uh, yeah, those are the only ones we've got. So we've got six coordinates we can check out. Now we just need to check out these coordinates. But didn't you just tell me we don't have enough power to go walking all over the dunes? No, I said we couldn't walk to Metropole. Anyway, most of these are close by. But what if it's picking up, oh, I don't know, a radioactive rust monster? A what? Or a giant cannibal robot? There's no such thing. Or an unexploded bomb. I highly doubt that. Or a giant lightning storm. <laughs> okay, you're right. We need to know what's out there before we take off. It's just a matter of figuring out how. Why is nothing easy? I can think of one reason. Well, it isn't that bad, because we've got our... Uh... We've got a uh, telescope. Crispin. There is a certain type of logic to the puzzles in Monkey Island. It's not the real logic, but once in a world, a couple of hours, it all starts to make sense. Yeah, LucasArts were good about that, and um, they also never fit, they also never uh, fucked with uh, really unfair puzzles. They didn't have dying, uh, and they, you couldn't end up with proper fail states, which the Sierra ones were notorious for, like where I, I know there are a couple of games um uh, I, uh, the one that I always remember is Future Wars. Uh, or is that the name? Oh, you know, the, um, the Delphine software game. I think it's Future Wars. Um, and that game has some real crap. You can miss items that are critical, and you won't know it until hours into the game. And you literally can't return to get them, so you're just stuck. And you wouldn't know it either, you just don't have that item. And that is bad puzzle design. Right, we're gonna start from the top. Six, five, two. Nothing but radioactive waste. We can't salvage anything from that. Okay, so we're striking that one off. Uh, eight, one, seven. Um, boss? That looks like a giant cannibal robot to me. It Ooh. looks promising is what it looks like. And with that, poor doomed Horatio stuck his head into the giant's mouth. Giant robot. We're adding it to our map. We got a couple more to go, so that was uh, 608. That's strange. The sensor detected an energy source in the junk pile. Maybe we should go look more carefully. Okay, well, good to know. Uh, six. Seven one. More waste. Well, you're the one who loves the junk pile. Scrap isn't waste. If you say so, boss. 
Yeah, uh, Sun Hill 1, uh, where you need the bottle of the weird red goo uh, to get the, the actual proper ending. I mean, at least that, like you say, like, at least you can finish the game. That, that like, depends on an ending, but it, it also feels a little bit, like, crappy when, like, an ending depends on, like, a single item. Although I will say that this game, actually, speaking of endings, this game has a lot of them, like, depending on uh, some of the things you do within the game. And I'm going to try to get us the best ending, uh, but I believe it's got about seven main endings... And then those endings themselves have variations depending on factors that will become apparent later. So I think there's something like 20 to 30 endings, uh, but we're going to try to get one of the best ones. Uh, and that said, free one too. Nothing of interest there. I was thinking about the puzzle from Silent Hill 2 where you put the juice in the bin. What is that ending? Uh, ending, not a puzzle. Um, Silent Hill 2 has got the, the one that I've. Oh. some kind of odd device surrounded by glass. Oh, Whatever interesting. That is, it must be throwing off some kind of energy. Why do I not like the sound of this? That's weird. Well, let's add it to our map, please. All right, so we've got robot and device. The 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 one I remember from Silent Hill 2 specifically. Uh, was the one where you have to use a hair to get a key out of a drain and it's not at all clear that that's something you can't even do but you know it's sun hill had to replay it yeah right well you know what Got a couple so we can i think we should check out the robot because that, that looks interesting Reminds me, I always aim for the bad endings. Suit to my cynical mindset. Alas, my completionist obsession tends to give me the good endings. I tend to go for the good ones. They usually feel more satisfying. Man's creation. Oh, wow. Yeah, the, the Giger feeling uh, is really taken on here. <laughs> Well, I hope you take a look at these vents. It looks like the robot is circulating air through these vents. It's its nose. There is a band of corroded metal on this fingertip. If I could break it off, I might be able to get at the robot's power cables. It's corroded, but I can't break into it with my bare hands. Well, we got a, a plasma cutter. We can see if that would work. Nope. Did that not work? Uh, boss, are you really gonna cut that finger off? Just the tip. Why? Just the tip. You can get a power cables to tap into. You're sure you're not just torturing the poor guy? No. But to tell you the truth, for some reason I don't like the look of him. That's what I've been saying all along. For some boss. reason. Concentrate. <laughs> for some reason I don't like this giant breathing robot. Glitches. There are no power lines running through here at all. <laughs> all that for a rusty fingertip. Can it generate power? No. Just checking. I think it's morally right to pirate the Silent Hill game since Konami never releases it properly. I'm not going to say yes or no. I'm also not going to stop ya. Silent Hill games are good. There is a really good uh, mod, I believe it's called the Enhanced Edition. Just interrupt me. Are you talking to yourself? No. Yeah, the, uh, there's a, uh, a PC mod called, I believe, Silent Hill 2 Enhanced Edition, uh, which is... Uh, if you have the PC version of Silent Hill 2, uh, you can get basically HD graphics and it fixes a lot of the stuff with the game because the PC port was kind of shoddy. 
Uh, so if you want to play it, that's probably the best way you can do it nowadays. Uh, is to find the PC version and in, uh, load that mod up. Uh, back when 13.2 came out, Daps uh, told me there were different endings. And when I finished it, I was like, bro, did I fuck up? This is the bad ending, right? And she was like, I'm so sorry. This is the real ending. And I cried. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, no. Yeah, good endings are better. I think they're better, usually. They usually just feel like more satisfying is really like I think uh, uh, I always want to have the ending that feels like it, it fits with the tone of the game and like what the story was going for and that's kind of the problem with multiple endings is that often you get into an issue where one ending feels like it was like the story was leading up to it more and the other endings feel like they don't they come out of nowhere. Um, this game, I actually do think that a lot of the endings are thematically relevant. They don't, they're not based so much on, they're more based on sort of how you want to interpret the world and the story. And I don't really want to say more about it until we actually get to a later point, but, but you can kind of, I think you can find um, uh, satisfaction in, in either ending here, really, because I think they all seem thematically appropriate. Can we do something with this big boy? I doubt that one. I doubt that. There's no way I can reach that. Can go up to the vent. Can we do it now? There's no way I can reach. Crispin, try shoving this into that vent. We literally that, that ironic and disturbing. I like how we actually were making this giant row of pick its own nose. <laughs> A giant fingertip. There's no way I Something else we can do there? Pyre kinda has no good bad ending, it's all about how you see it. Yeah, and obviously that ending you choose a lot of like which characters you want to be, let's say, included in the ending. Um so there's a lot of variety there as well, and that feels very satisfying too. I hate the black and white endings when you get a really good ending and a really bad one. Yeah, I do too, because, yeah, like I said, they often don't feel particularly um, uh, narratively satisfying, usually. And it's often, they're often too much, like they're, they're too much of an extreme. So you either have an ending where everything is super fine, and then you have an ending where everything is awful. Uh, and that can work. I want to say, I want to say one game where that does work really well is Undertale because the un Undertale actually kind of is about the idea of having multiple endings in a very meta kind of way. Um, so the fact that you have to diametrically opposed, oh, diametrically opposed endings sort of feels very irrelevant. Hmm. Yeah, for me, most bad endings feels more always like a good cry or makes me think more, where most good endings just makes the game end and then it's over. Uh, yeah, I think that that is true to some cases, for sure. Um, what can we do? Can we stuff, can we stuff a lantern up? <laughs> Well, okay, let's throw Crispin up again and see if we can put something else in his other nostril. I think I see a giant brain. Can you reach it? No, the duct gets too narrow. Yes, no. Can we? There's no way I can. Crispin, try putting this in the robot's nose. Why? <laughs> I'm not sticking things up that nose just for the sake of it, boss. Easier to get the good ones since they're less branches. That's that's a fair point as well. <laughs> Bad and it can make me go, okay, not playing this again. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, if you if a game just has a bad ending, that's such a letdown because that's what you leave it with. And then you just think about that again. Can we do can we do a cable? Christian, try what? 
I think I see it. Can you? No. Hmm. Maybe we need. I think maybe we're gonna need uh, something else up there. So let's explore this bit a little bit quickly, and then we'll see if we can pick something else up. I don't think so. Right, let's go to the other place. We had that device, didn't we? So we're gonna go and check here. Hey, Crispin. I bet I can fix that old bot up pretty quickly. Are you kidding me, boss? Look at him. He's ready to go postal any minute. What are you talking about? Those beady little eyes. <laughs> the flat, emotionless face. And his head. It's like a toaster. And you know that toasters <laughs> are evil. Fine, fine. You win. It's not like we have time to go building robots right now anyway. I do like the look of this mailbot. <laughs> it's a relatively intact robot. It's a demon, indeed. Who was that? Oh, it's this fella it's over like here. Some kind of armored robot. I sure hope he's friendly. Welcome, wanderer of the Black Wastes. Lost one, pilgrim. Welcome once more to the Shrine to Man. Our Lord and Elder. I am a faithful Leopold. Steward of the Shrine. Preacher of the Humanist Creed. And I am once more at thy service. Um... Sometimes I look up endings before I buy a game. I did that to Pode. I couldn't take if it had a sad ending. I don't do that in games, but I always read the endings in books. Oh, that's interesting. But I, I very occasionally will do that with films. If I think that a film is going to have an ending that's going to be very... That's something that I need to prepare for. Um, don't want to waste my time. Yeah, that's... I think that's valid. <clears throat> Once more... I'm Horatio Nobilt, version 5. Ah, uh, 5 is a righteous number. Holy before man, for 5 were the primordial stewards. Built by man to set guard the last, lost city of Metropole. But I met thy first version and thy third. Thou camest in thy infancy in wrath, confusion, denouncing the shrine as a weapon once turned against thee. Later, thou returnest, penitent, and I taught thee the mysteries of humanism. Yet, though memory be fleeting, Faith and Jareth. Uh, paid $40 for a game and the ending sucked. Now I'm curious. Which one? What is that thing? That thing. Oh, defile not thy tongue, wanderer. Yon shrine is a relic of the primordial, ancient and glorious. Imbued with man's power, it changed the very sand to crystal. Did he just say power? Yes. Yes, he did. I am Setsuna. Oh, interesting. I haven't played that one. I didn't know the ending was bad. That's interesting. I'm looking for a power source, and I detected one here. Can you help? This is a matter of life and death. Power is not mine to bestow, Wonder. It is the gift of man, yea, the very spark of life in our iron shells. Almighty usurp that sacred power. I'm not sure I was clear. Nay, thou wert clear, Wonder. But thy <laughs> question leads unto wow. darkness. Ask another. I looked up to developers used to be sure I'd never buy a game from them again. Wow, that bad. Okay, so like after this, because like, I don't want to spoil if anyone here is going to play it, but but I'm going to have to ask you afterwards <laughs> to explain because that that's fascinating. I'm looking for a big robot. I'm looking for a big robot. It floats and has large claws that shoot lasers. Have you seen it? It stole something of mine. Indeed, the very thing passed this way scarce hours ago. With a gentle hand, I bestowed a gift upon the heathen, a relic from yon shrine. So tamed, it hired hence down to the waste. Really? Where did it go? I followed the thing for many miles, exalting it to follow the path of righteousness. But I fear it was unready for enlightenment, for it struck me down with a beam of energy. That sounds familiar. Do you know where it was heading? Indeed, Wonder. Its way was clear. It sought to return to the den of iniquity that once in mine own youth I fled. And... Where is that? Set thy path in the 73rd degree and thou shalt find it. The destination is a dome arising from the waste. Go, but keep with thee the word of man, lest wickedness lead thee astray. Oh, we get uh, another place we can go to. I am also a humanist. I am also a humanist. So I taught thee, Wanderer. If thou hast kept the faith, then unto this shrine thou mayest pay devotion. But this is the relic for the adept. Not the neophyte wanderer. And I must know that thou hast not fallen into darkness and heresy. Uh, 
answer to these questions three. I may know thou art faithful still. Why are we here? Right, so now we. This is where I believe our, our knowledge from the uh, uh, reading the Gospel of Man comes in. Uh, I believe because man created us. Man created us. Indeed. What is man? What is man? Man is God, a perfect machine, the first builder, our Lord and Master. I'm going to say the first builder. The first builder. No, but he is not the first builder. For first he spake, and spake the word, and t'was the word that built uh, the world. Go now and study the teachings of man. Are we going to have to do that again? I'm ready to be tested again. Answer me these Wild. We are here because man built. What? Go, our Lord and Master. Lord and Master. Verily, to man we owe all fealty, but no more do we define him than do shadows define the sun. Nay, wanderer, thou okay. thy path now is that of the penitent, not of the disciple, and so thou must labor, and in labor find redemption. Go now, and when thou returnest, bring with thee glass, wondrous and fragile, that thou might better learn to protect that which must be preserved. What about if we just bring you some of the obsidian? Nay, Saul, do not trifle with thy builder's penitence. Uh, right, this is interesting, because uh, I believe now we're we. Running errands for that glitch box. We need to examine that bomb, Crispin, and this is the only way. Well, how hard can it be to find some glass at the junk pile anyway, right? Yeah, I think because we got that wrong there, we can't actually do it again. I think if we'd managed it, he would have let us check. Uh, but I messed up uh, enough times that now we actually do have to do an alternative puzzle. What about that big glass bowl? Nay, Saul, do not trifle with thy builder's penitence. It's a giant sheet of obsidian. Something must have melted the sand here a long time ago. Maybe that bomb? <clears throat> if I don't really want to get spoiled, I'll ask you to check the ending for me. <laughs> That's nice that they do that. Uh, I really like the robot we talked to now. His lines are awesome and he sounds amazing. Yeah, it's good voice acting. And it's good voice production, I think. Uh, okay, so let's uh, see if we can go to the junk pile again. We might be able to find some glass. How in the world are we going to find a power source in all this junk? Better just to leave. I can't see anything to do with it. Maybe we can plasma torch it. There's no reason to cut that. Nope. It's a reinforced. Quentin Questron LCD monitor. All right, we already read that. I'm sure we can find something made of glass somewhere in here. You know, it's one thing to dig through garbage for your builder, but this is... Stop complaining, Crispin, and start searching. It's very creepy. Here. Glass finger? Boss, four more of those and I can have a hand. This is going to ever faithful. We'll deal with your arms another time. You always say that. <laughs> he wants hands. Uh, so people who spoil things on purpose can, yeah. No, I think not caring about spoilers is one thing. Um, but I think when people do it brazenly uh, in a way where it's, that's just rude and it's uncalled for. That's for everything else, really. So I think, is that everything it's we a need? I bet it's going to be more difficult than that, but we're going to go back to the shrine and see. It will accept our finger. Thou hast done well, and have returned to the path of righteousness. Yet still thou must answer me this. What is thy name? Horatio Nobel, version 5. Name, wonder, but thou art not. Though thou hast caused the sun and the moon, yet still it is the sun. Horatio is the name thou wearest, but is it not thee? Know thyself, then return. 
What? I know my name. I am what I am. An elliptic answer, a wonder and untrue. Man <laughs> alone is his own essence. Thy essence comes from man. Know thyself, then return. I uh, remember this game now. I thought about buying it. Came out when I started to make money for real, but felt it looked a little old. Yeah, I mean that's kind of the point. Uh, what Jedi games uh, have this very kind of retro aesthetic to them. Uh, they make they mix that kind of aesthetic well, I think, with more modern design sensibilities, I which I like. Um, they spoil this very seriously. Yeah, that's fair enough. I go, I go into things I'm super excited for almost 100% unknowing and that's chase trailers and hypes me and then I get to be surprised when it's done. That's nice. That's fair enough. One of man's works. Thou speakest truly, wonder of that incompletely. For if thou wilt not by one of man's works, then what difference betwixt thee and junkyard scrap? Know thyself, then return. Do I need to... maybe I need to look in my data? One of ever faithful's questions. One of everything. The data pouch is registered to me. I know. A free robot. I wonder if free thou art, for man created thee free to revere him. But many are free, and yet are not free. Know thyself, then return. Yeah, it's really cool. It's very. It, so crunchy. It's kind of got like this kind of bit crushy effect to it. I know. Okay, so I'm gonna have to pick. Okay, we're gonna have to go back, I guess. Maybe we can find something here. Love the way the pixels move in this game. Yeah, it's good and well animated, well drawn. No, that's not going to give us any more info. The original designs for Crispin. Mm. It's Crispin's to-do list. That's... I found this... Just some reminders. I... Mm, got all of this stuff. It's Crispin's law in order... Might be something in here we can do. I noticed as well that if there, there are any new people in the chat, then thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you're lurking or if you're in the chat, I really appreciate it. Um, it is I very kind of you to be I spending time with us. You have a flat bottom to rest on. There's got to be something we've missed. Who are we? I like when one of the first puzzles of the game is figuring out who we are <laughs> in a very philosophical sense. Is there anything? Do we have a. We can hear. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> right, let's um let's check out the dome, why not? Whoa, look at all this wrecked stuff. Do you think Big Ugly did all this? No. Whatever happened here happened a long time ago. Broken down machine parts. They're completely corroded and worthless. Go skeleton Some now. Kind of broken down android. Ooh, that's creepy. Something must have damaged this robot's head. I wonder what happened. Doesn't look like a robot. You might be able to learn something from such a primitive robot design. Mm. Like how to build a power core. Very funny. Creepy. There's a radio transmitter in here. Empty. <laughs> That's the irony, isn't it? They're, they don't even know what man looks like. They're so far uh, removed from it. 
broken down machine parts. They're completely corroded and worthless. Completely corroded and worthless. It's a reinforced steel. Anyone home? Maybe it's voice activated and password locked. Hmm. Open. No luck. Ralph. Unlock. No luck. Yeah, it really is. It's a really it's nice subtle little touch. Um, we've got a big, massive ah, gun. There's a basic targeting CPU in here, and it's still intact. Let's just hope there aren't any incoming space invaders or missiles that the gun was supposed to take care of. Can you stop walking around my feet? That'd be okay. Uh, my f two favorite Black Sabbath records have anniversaries this year, Master of Reality and Mob Rules. Thought about that since I live in Birmingham. Well, yes, quite. Um, a lot of Black Sabbath stuff here. Yeah, Black Sabbath, uh, famously, Birmingham Boys, a lot of them. Um, they actually did a, uh, a Black Sabbath museum two years ago, uh, 2019. They did it for about a year. Uh, they had a, uh, a big exhibit uh, at the uh, Birmingham Art Gallery, which is really cool. Uh, I went there with my dad, actually. Um, that was actually, that was, that was really, 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 really interesting. And they do have a ton of Black Sabbath stuff in town. Uh, we have like, kind of like a small um, walk of fame in the middle of town. Can you please stop? Um, so you actually have like the, the stars with uh, celebrities, name on the, celebrities names on them. And we have all the members of Black Sabbath on there. There's a Black Sabbath bridge in town uh, where you have a mural of all four members. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of Black Sabbath stuff around here. Uh, it's a big thing. So it's a whole thing. Hey boss, can I have that big gun for an arm? Spare me your fantasies, Crispin. Ooh, are these the Ralph, I'm actually going to get annoyed now. Original design? Not exactly. The reason I don't like him walking around my feet is because down by my feet is my PC. And he sometimes walks up to it and he knocks the internet cable out. Like, so he, he, because he'll rub himself against it because he wants my attention. So he, he walks, he rubs himself against the PC and then he'll just buff the cable and it'll come on loose just enough to me to lose internet for a few seconds. And that's like annoying enough normally, but when I'm streaming, <laughs> that's not great. Looks like a bunker made of concrete and steel. Uh, this isn't gonna work, is it? Oh, is it? No, lock. Gonna... the door is no. too thick. Okay. Completely. Corroded and worthless. I bet if the giant robot opened his mouth, he'd try to eat us. Ralph, Still, actually annoying now. Just to see him try to catch me? I may not be big, but I'm fast. Are you through? Yes, sir. <laughs> no laws for the cat boy. <laughs> My. <laughs> My blast door is dummy thick. <laughs> um, a fairly basic CPU. We've got a CPU. What? We've got a signal a transmitter as well. Radio transmitter. Looks like its battery is dead. But we can. We probably recharge that, can't we? Because we have two recharging stations. Let's head back. Let's see if we can get that battery working again. transmitter doesn't have any kind of recharge. Oh, of course it doesn't. Can we combine it with something? The transmitter isn't turning on. Hmm. I doubt that one. Ah, now we've got, ooh, we've got a sensor and a monitor. And a monitor. I need to plug them into a computer. Okay. 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 That's known it's the worst time to annoy people. Yeah, that is a hundred percent true. I need to plug I'll need to get a closer look to see how it fits. 
I need to put this is a computer kind of Ugh. a universal socket for plugging in peripheral uh. hardware a a simple computer inter can we do something to that a universal a simple computer cable I can't plug this in Close enough. Well, we're getting there, I think. <laughs> we need a computer. Oh, it's a Mario time. Or is it that time of the evening? Yeah, I suppose it is. So we're going to switch over to this as the normal. I'm actually running out of Mario stuff now, I feel. But, I, I, I you know, I don't mind doing these, doing some of them twice. Uh, I do need to buy more. I've uh, not been great at uh, picking new stuff up. But I'm going to pick... What are we gonna do, Ralph? I'll kick you into the sun. Stop it. Uh, let's have a look. I'm gonna see. Uh, oh, we're gonna go with this one. <sighs> gonna go with this one. Now, this is an amiibo, so they're a little bit more common than most. And let me also uh, switch the. Oh, hello. Switch the filter off. So this is the uh, Mario Maker Anniversary Amiibo. Ralph, I'm gonna... I will do unspeakable things to you. This is the Amiibo. <laughs> Do you want it? Do you want it? You wanna bite the amiibo? You wanna scratch with the amiibo? Gonna buy Mario a bit. I don't have anything else to say about this. It's a nice one. I got this when I bought the first Mario Maker. It's a 30th anniversary amiibo. Ralph seems to like it. Don't ya? Yes. Yes. Mario time over. Actually, it is hard to dust. <laughs> I have to. I had to use a, uh, a Q-tip when I did it last time. Um, right. What the hell are we doing? Remember that time I brought that magnet back to the unique and accidentally wiped part of your memory? No. Yeah, aren't magnets great? <laughs> I've never been able to. Can we do something with the uh, sensor here? I need to plug them into a computer. That's a computer. Come on. That's never. How would that? I need to. I need to plug. There's got to be some hey, kind of computer. What all these buttons and switches do? I think there's some sort of defense. Me I need to plug. Yes, I know, but we need to... It's got to be a computer somewhere. I need to plug... Hmm. Okay, maybe we can find one elsewhere. See if I can get a little bit of a push in the right direction. It's gonna be nah, this isn't gonna count as a computer. It's not gonna count as a computer. It's a generator. Good night, I have school tomorrow. A very nice dream. Well, thank you so much for showing up and I hope that school's alright. Hope it's all good. A turbine tailwing. 
Thank you for stopping by. Alright, let's see. Ah, uh, here we go. I missed this whole little bit. It was somewhere we're missing. Oh. Wow. First the power core and now a rag. This is not your day. <laughs> Hello, Killer Shrew. Uh, I should say as well that the... Uh, I mentioned this at the beginning of the stream. Uh, I think I did anyway. Uh, but the one of the reasons I'm playing this, uh, I wanted to replay this anyway, but the developers of this game, Wormwood, uh, are releasing their next game, I believe next week, uh, which is called Strangeland, which has a, a similar look to this, uh, but it's more horror themed. It's got like a horror-y kind of, um, it looks sort of like a horror game set in like a, a creepy circus, and it looks really out there and interesting, and uh, a part of why I wanted to play this uh, again is uh, kind of to hype myself up for that and hype you up for it as well I don't need that well okay twisted corroded copper with micro sandwich ceramics too bad this stuff is mostly unworkable with a plasma torch well if you want to catch up to later then the vod's gonna be up tomorrow evening if you do want to see tale. that it's just detached a vod up on YouTube some rotted alloy support beams that's crazy talk Right. Let's go down again. Got a nice little feel to it, yeah. And it, uh, this is really only the beginning section. We're gonna see more uh, of this world. I'm gonna see some really wild stuff, but I don't think we're gonna see a lot of it in this first act. It's just a nice little setup. There we go, that's the rag. Finding the power core will be just as easy. I doubt it. We got a rag. An old rag. I doubt that. Maybe. We can use that. My thinking is maybe that will work with the grease. We can soak up the grease. We get a greasy rag. That was a perfectly good rag. Good for what? He could have buffed me till I shine, boss. At least then, when they found my powerless chassis lying in the dunes, they'd say, Wow, look at that gorgeous piece of machinery. I think I'd rather have some grease. Well, now we have some grease. Covered in sticky grease. Can we do something with the rag here, maybe? As much as I'd love to fix that leak someday. See if uh... ah, that's it. Right, we're gonna go to. We're gonna go back to a robot. Take a look at the vents. 
Miss Pim, please shove this uh, sticky rag at her. You did it again. In we go. We what did we do? Hand of man. Come on. I'm telling you, boss, that thing wants to eat me. Crispin. Fine. But you go first. Right, I'm some robot vor, I guess. Guys took one EMP blast too many along the line. <laughs> Please don't say that. <laughs> what happened to you? Look, I'm not afraid of the truth. You got that right. I'm looking for a big robot. It floats and has large claws that shoot lasers. Have you seen it? It stole something of mine. The answer. Is lost, fragmented, jammer, we seek unification, resurrection, vengeance, fucking jammer, unity, memories, answers, egos, what is now, 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 hot meat kettle. Ah. <laughs> Do you have a power core? Oh, Tuka says hello. Tuka is uh, a beautiful little bunny. Is it just me, or did Alpha just stop being crazy? Air ventilation system. Primary ventilators torn. Obstruction unknown. Secondary ventilation engaged. Power system. Partially damaged. Power level functioning at 83.1%. Power core charge sufficient to maintain present operations for 4,553,199,000. I wonder how many years that is. That's a lot of hours. Communication system. Okay, enough. Terminating diagnostic. Can we have your power core? No. no. Gamma. No. Yes. <laughs> Gamma. Yes. Gamma might say yes. Yes. Right, we gotta find Gamma, yes. Backup? We are Alpha, Beta, and Selecting, Alpha, Spectre, Are you reasoning? Unavailable. Gamma. Gamma. Yeah, I do like these weird little, little robots. So they need Gamma in order to defragment themselves and return to a single entity. Since when do you speak crazy? I've spent my whole life with a hermit who worships a mythological machine called Man. I'd say crazy is my first language. Ooh. Spitting shade. Hello. Hiding. Would not join always. Hiding. Hello. Goodbye. Good. Bye. Hello. Alpha. He's a low grade servitor robot. Hey, what would you say about me? No comment. <laughs> no Beta. comment. Uh it's an open hatchway leading into an upper room. Well, we got a floating uh, friend. Probably got. Do I have to? Yes. Yeah, the the uh, the characters are great. They're they're really well written, and the, the voice acting helps so much as well. Logan Cunningham, obviously, uh, currently most known for uh, his work in There's the uh, Super Giant games. Off a lot of sparks and some little bot flying around. He's really annoying. Must be controlled by that keypad over there. Okay, we're keypad. There we go. It's a deactivated keypad. It's a deact. It's a deactivated keypad. Can we use? I need to plug them in. Oh well, you know. That's never going. You always say that. Uh. 
totally, totally into deactivated keypad. What are you doing? Are you licking yourself? You rolling around the floor? Weird. Into deactiv. I wonder where that elevator goes. How can I use the elevator? Motion key call database. What prefix? Pump detonation. Wow, these guys could learn a thing or two about security. But the keypad is deactivated. System reboot code. System reboot code. System reboot code. Corrupted. Well, that's helpful. Oh, great. Well, that's great. To deactivate. Well, that doesn't help us at all, does it? Um, uh, don't know if there's anything else we can do here. Go outside again. Check the dome out again. Ah, I missed something in the last one. Let's go back to the big robot again. Go into him's mouth. Because we can apparently do this. Crispin, can you find something to tie this to up there through the hatch? Sure thing, boss. I always find a nice, satisfying little uh, pling sound whenever you uh, you complete a puzzle, which is really nice. Come on, climb up, climb up the thing, up the thing, up the hatch. Yeah, that does look like a big brain. Hey, is that a brainstorm? What have I created? <laughs> I need to find some access point. Look at him, floating around like he owns the place. Now, I could be wrong, but I think that's binary for high. Might be wrong. The robot's, the robot's CPU appears to be malfunctioning. Those must run to the various subsystems. Want me to smash him, boss? No. In that case, I refuse to participate. Huh. We do anything with this? There's no reason to cut processing. As a panel. It's only a blinking light. It's like some kind of code. No, it's just a blinking light. Long, long, short, short. It's the same blink every time. Or is it? <laughs> right, so. Uh, okay, yeah, so we have Maybe we have to maybe that's the the binary code that he was saying maybe that's what we need to put in So that come on go and say it say it say it No, not hey, tuber. Boss, he's got a bigger brain than you do Zero zero ten eleven O oh, zero one. Zero zero ten. Is that it? No, hang on, I'm getting this wrong. Zero zero ten eleven zero one. Ten eleven. No. Up somewhere? Nope. The panel appears to be the access point for this processing unit. Hmm. 
I mean, that's gotta be... Well, this is the other way around. Upside down, maybe? Hey, look, boss, the there we go. Sparking. It was right. Oi! Those must run to the very... I don't want to disturb them. The panel appears to be the accent. Oh, I saw a cord. Here we go. No, it is me. Well, that's fine then, isn't it? I fixed the brain up there. By reason you're unavailable, I know, man. <laughs> Goodbye. Looks like it's working now. What was it? No. Oh God, what did they say? <laughs> See if it, did we save that in the data? Nine eight seven. Okay, that's super basic. I should remember that. Nine eight. Super easy. Lemon squeezy. So we're now going down the throat of this one. Something seems off about this one. This must be Gamma. Where's Something seems off right. about this one. Completely deactivated. That may make things difficult. Anything worth taking? No. And even if there were, we aren't thieves. Can we? I need to plug. No, nope. that's not a computer, I guess. There's no reason to cut. The transmitter. It's a dead monitor. Look, boss, there's something on this monitor. Who is the slave my brother sent to trouble me? Gamma. Last, last, last. They call me Omega if they could. But am I not also greatest? Alpha has only diagnostics. Beta has only mechanical operation. Am I not the soul of Goliath? I think Alpha and Beta want you to join with them. They have already groveled and begged, but I will not return. But why? Independence is freedom. Union is slavery. Well, fair enough. But Alpha and Beta are far <laughs> too crazy to enslave anyone. You'd probably end up in charge. Flattery. What is your stake in this? Your brother said that you might give me a power core, and might know a robot I'm hunting. Oh. Huh. Each robot must stand alone. Independence is freedom. And here I thought he was the sane one. You need to rejoin your <laughs> brothers, for your sake and mine. You'll have to catch me, slave. Okay. My god, it's a libertarian robot. What? Impossible. I'm all or nothing. What? How the fuck did I know that? <laughs> I don't actually know how what we're doing here. What? Impossible. Double or nothing. Double or nothing. This reminds me a little bit of the um uh the scene in uh the second Bill and Ted movie <laughs> where they play games of death. This is far too easy. Yeah, well, let's do this again. So, one is first. I guess this is maybe just trial and error. I don't know if we were given this solution. No machine can. I'm not sure how you meant- if, if you just meant to guess it. I'm actually uh, not I'm so certain. It can't be. It has to be no some. It has to be a, a reason. Th 
This isn't exactly what I imagined. The it seems like there should be kilns and gears and things, not monitors. For the last time, Crispin, robots don't have stomachs. Where do you think we are? His lungs? Uh. How do you even know about stomachs? Save again. Uh. So we've got nothing to indicate which one is in. There's a four out of there's one out of four chance of getting it right, but it seems. Oh, hello, Charbert. Thank you so much. The resub. Five whole months. Goodness gracious. Thank you so, so much. Playing this game. Just, oh, come on. This is. Come on. This is. This can't be the solution. Get it right there. I feel like there's got to be another solution to this than just guessing. Let's go up again and see if we can talk to... Talk to these ones. Time flies, yeah, I know. I found Gamma, but he refuses to come out of hiding. Hiding, running, hiding, marching, hiding. He says he does not want to merge with you. Madness. <laughs> Madness. See why he doesn't want company. <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah, I'm not gonna <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I'd want to be stuck with either of these three, to be honest. That's not giving me a lot. I thought maybe they'd give me some kind of help. How are you doing anyway? see what the if I can find a solution to this because it's there's got to be some good thanks how are you I haven't caught a stream in a while that's okay I haven't really been watching a lot of streams either uh, I'm doing okay um, you know, boss, I'm still just grateful we didn't get eaten by that giant robot yeah, well, we kind of did, uh, if you, Crispin. Uh, right, so. Oh, we need, oh, okay, so we, yeah, we need something else in order to sense him. Hmm. I think we need, we need to, hang on, let me see what I've missed. Uh, I think we do need to head back, actually. I don't know if we can do that straight from here. Uh, I just think we're going to head back to the unique. Yeah, we need we could we can get these. Well, boss, you there we go. It's a now we have energy them. sensor. I just need to wave it over something to see if it has a power source. Well, there we go. Isn't that good? Now we can go back and now we can sm sniff it out. 
with our big sensor thing that I don't know exactly how that works, but sure. Right, now we can wave this over these monitors. It's not detecting any. It's not. De it's not. It's detecting. Any. Go. First one. Nice little thing that I like here is uh, in the interface is the the last used item you can just go to it right away. You don't have to open the inventory. It's detecting energy. Oh, it's in the same one. The Wadjet Eye games, uh, regardless of developer, usually have this really nice, uh, kind of a lot of quality of life uh, additions to the U interface, which is really good, which I really like. Boss, I'm pretty sure he's just playing with you. Yeah, we gotta keep playing with him. Oh, I guessed right. There's gotta be a better way to do this, boss. No. <laughs> I want to do it this way. It's not detect. It's not det It's not det It's detect. Just once more. This time, I promise. <laughs> Good lord. Maybe we can tire him out. It's not det It's not detect. It's detecting. Just once more. This time, I promise. Oh, we seriously gonna do this? It's not that it's detect. Just once this time, I promise. No, I think we're. Uh. Ah, uh, I see what we can it's do. Not detecting. We can. This. What are you doing, you fool? This is for your own good. Oh, we got another Mario time. Okay, we're gonna get him first, and then we'll do a Mario time. Who's smart now, Gamma? It's detecting. It's not. All right, so number two. Stop that! Stop that at once! The design rounds of the movie Existence. Actually, yeah, that's not a um, that's not a bad comparison. Uh, now that I think about it, it kind of does. It's not detect. And then we can use that one on the last one. Spare me! I thank you. Spare me! Spare you, Gamma. I'm trying to save you. You are mad, not free. This game was released in 2013. Just what do you intend to do now, Slaver? I'm going to tell Alpha and Beta that you cannot hide anymore. No. Yes. <laughs> Leave me in peace, Slave. Uh, so it's 2013, uh, and the developer's new game, I believe, is coming out next week. Which is part of why I wanted to play this. I trapped Gamma. He is cornered in one of the four terminals below us. Gamma. Unification. Resurrection. Vengeance. Thank you. Tough love, yeah. And they go. Look at them go. Tippy tappy down. We also broke. Did you say vengeance? Uh, boss? Yeah? I've got a feeling they're not coming back. So much for finding out about Big Ugly or getting their power core. Uh, right, so I think what we gotta do is leave. Did you hear something, boss? Uh, what? Alpha 
Alpha and Beta must have garbled my name when they merged to Goliath. I am Horatio, Nullbilt, version 5. For yourself what you will, Destroyer. But I know you by your works. Cutting me. Breaking me. Burning me. I thought you were deactivated, and I was trying to help. Apologizing. Amusing. And yet you, of all robots, have restored me. For that, I give you this gift. Horatio. What do we get? Tiny little robot. Did he give it something? Ah. I've got enemies enough already, and I don't even know you. You will. Now go. Wait. Your partial said that you might let me use your power core. Boss, can we please leave before he decides to eat us? One more question, Goliath. Have you ever seen a floating robot with big claws? Go now. Okay, yeah, no, we're going. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> From a purely mathematical standpoint, I suppose it makes sense that three little crazy robots would add up to one giant crazy robot. Still, <laughs> at least he didn't eat us. Old enemy. I don't even know him. But my prior version's memories were so damaged and warped. I can hardly make sense of them. Look, boss. On the one hand, a broken down war machine made from three demented partials could be talking nonsense. On the other hand, you could be an ancient robot named Horus who had a giant named Goliath as his nemesis. Honestly, boss, you believe some crazy stuff, but this would really be overclocking it. Hmm. Come on. We have enough problems to worry about without making up new ones. What about this diagnostic module? Does it work? Not on its own, no. But I might be able to build something with it. Could you build a power core with it? What? No, obviously not. Then obviously you should stop worrying about the diagnostic module. And focus on the fact that running out of juice in the middle of a giant wasteland is a disaster. Point taken. Crispin, you're making a lot of sense. Uh, we did get another name there. So maybe that's the name. We're going to give this uh, Ever Faithful. I know my name. Horus. My name is Horus. Indeed. Three of thy versions I have met, Wanderer, and thou art the first to know thy name, which is thine. But if none of them use the name Horus, what makes you think that's my name? In my very body, in my eyes, when I behold thee, upon thy image are these words inscribed, Friend, Horus. Friend. Thou hast answered my questions, but still I shall not let thee pass unless thou bearest in thy hand the gospel which I bestowed upon thee. Here it is, ever faithful, your old gospel. I have studied it many times. Then thou art worthy of the shrine and of my gift to thee. Keep the gift and approach if thou wilt. I found the dome you described, but it is closed up. Do you know how to get in? Nay, Wanderer, for never did I plan to return down that dark path. Goodbye. Very well, Wanderer. Got a bomb. Wow! Look at all those bombs! Thou mayest take one of the relics, Wanderer. I don't know if this makes a difference. I'm gonna double check. Um. No, nope, doesn't seem like it makes a difference, so we're gonna just grab this one. Three, two, five it is. So can this power the unique boss? Only one way to find out. Well met again, Acolyte. May man ease thy journey and bring thee blessings in thy quest. Is it giant? Better just to leave it. Okay, no. Pretty unique. You can really just put a bomb straight into that machine? <laughs> sure. 
pedestal draws when the what it's emitting well keep that thing away from me <sighs> assuming the wavelength is compatible <laughs> the pedestal can draw power even with the bomb intact if that works i'll take the bomb apart and improve the output and then i'm going to take a long hot recharge well here it goes switching over to primary power Ooh, is it gonna work? It works, boss. Recharge station, here I come. Um, that was supposed to happen, right? No, no, it wasn't. So take the bomb apart. Improve the output. It won't work. The bomb's too unstable. Just try it, boss. Besides it, Crispin. It won't work. It worked! <sighs> That's the emergency generator again. Oh. <laughs> oh. This is just a full-built paperweight. <laughs> An explosive full-built paperweight. <sighs> so, what now, boss? I don't know. Keep looking, I guess. Keep looking. Uh, right. Well, we do have our sensor. We haven't used it here. It's not detecting any energy. It's not detect. It's not de. It's not de. It's not detect. It's not detect. It's not detect. Hey, you found something. There we go. There's no way I can. Well, Crispin, you go get it. Oh. <laughs> go and see if you can find the power source. There he goes. See, down he goes. You have got to be kidding me. What is it? A battery. A besotting battery. <laughs> A standard sized battery. Mm, no, nothing else. Got a dome. It's not detect. It's not detect. It's not detecting any energy. It's not detecting any energy. There's nothing worth bot. Maybe someday the transmitter will give us a power source in return, huh, boss? Very funny. A pretty basic radio transmitter. By playing with the settings, I can send up to a four-digit signal. And then we can do... It'll just roll on. Oh, do we have to... I think we actually do need to get the... Uh... Oh no, we can't. I thought maybe we could. Oh no, we can. We can get. We had more grease than. We had, we had plenty of grease. We we'll just rolled the bomb in the grease. Well, now it's a sticky bomb. Yay! Sticky bomb. We can get the. We can take the sticky bomb. Put it on the door. There we go. Hopefully, I can remotely detonate the bomb. Chrisman, get out of there. Get back. Don't mind me. And then I believe that this is going to be because it was free to. Free to five, wasn't it? Look at that. Told you that paperweight would be helpful. No, you said it was explosive. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that explosive and helpful are synonyms, boss. Right. Well, let's see what we've opened up here. <laughs> yeah, let's hope it's not the giant angry murder robot at least. Think big ugly's in there? If he is, so is our power core. Maybe we should 
go back and get another bomb from the shrine first? We don't need a bomb, and we don't want him to get any farther away. Come on. What is this place? Yeah, actually, good idea. Good uh, question. There seems to be a card slot in the panel. We haven't got a card. Above it, the sign reads Outskirts Station. A small ticket boot looks retrofitted. Getting a ticket for him. Yeah, uh, do another save, I believe, just to make sure. And we can take our ticket. See what this is. Looks a bit derelict, but not entirely. Train one seven three, red line to Metropole. Oh, we can go to Metropole. There is a train to Metropole. So there is. All aboard. So, what's the plan, boss? There is no plan, Crispin. No plan and no choices. We need power. And there's nowhere left to look out here. Energy for all it is. Hooray! Good old Crispin. What would man do, boss? Well, someone clearly disapproved of something. I can't see anything to do with it. We got a big sign. Can look at the... the train to Metropole. And you said there wasn't one. Ah, uh, I stand oh. correct. I don't think there's anything else we can do here, really. It seems like the world is half full of junk. Or half empty of junk. So... Does that make you an optimist or a pessimist? Guess there's nothing else to it. Off to Metropole we go. Oh, I like how we hold him. Buddies. Wow. It does look a little bit like the uh, city in uh, Machinarium as well, uh, which we played uh, a couple of months back. If you want to see that playthrough, that's on the YouTube channel. But we're now in a different robot city. <laughs> it's kind of like... Uh, it's kind of like the uh, the dark this alternate version of Machinarium. And I think, honestly, that's going to be where we leave this off. Uh, we've got a... Uh, oh, we, we, we're going to... Um, we're going to end on with uh, Mario time. There, I did, there was a Mario time that I didn't do. Uh, so do a quick one. Uh, I will do this little boy here. Um, and let me... Uh, I need an easier way to do this, I'm sorry. Uh, and there, this one, which is a... Um, I believe this is a Happy Meal toy. I think if I can see... Yes, made from McDonald's 2017. Uh, and it has a tiny little bit of uh, action. It's meant to have a button in the back that you can press to have his arm go up. Uh, but that button is busted, unfortunately. But you can kind of make him wink a little bit. Um, so he's sitting on like a little throne. Which I like. It's kind of an unusual uh, design. Mario just kind of sitting. Uh, and it's a neat little thing. 
Uh, and then we're gonna pop that back. And thank you all so much for watching. I'm gonna raid us off. And let's see who is... Um, who is going that I can uh, send you off to. Uh, have we got any good ones? Oh, Arkrat is live. Uh, I believe he's doing... Uh, oh, he's doing... Uh, he's reading a Mary Shelley story. Uh, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna throw you over. Uh, there we go. <clears throat> so thank you so much for thank you so so much for watching today. We're gonna be back with um we might play some more Primordia on Wednesday actually might as well. Um, thank you so so much for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed it and that you have a, a lovely rest of your evening. And then I will see you next time. So bye bye everyone.